You did it. Say what? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a show about uh, big words. I'm I'm frightened. Frightened? That was was that the best word you could come up with? I'm frightened big and challenged. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to abdicate to you. I'm astonished. Yeah, that's a good. Okay, so, um, so we're doing a word word challenge. Yeah, we played this game in 2018. Uh, in fact, some of the questions I just took right from the show in 2018 to see if you learned anything. Oh, but uh-oh. nobody did. I know that because I didn't remember. I didn't even remember them. And I haven't seen them, so. Yeah, okay. but most of the words are new now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at words that you've never heard. That's the that's the idea. This is this is one of the like Ida and I have this constant struggle. This is Ida, by the way. I'm Cal, Hi, everybody. and we're uh, part of uniquely the same. You guys watching are also part of uniquely the same. And uh, so we're oh here comes Sela. We didn't introduce Sela, but that was Sela on my lap in the beginning. So uh, so when we did the show the first time. I made up a bunch of words and then I had other words. So uh, you were supposed to identify the word that was actually a word. Oh, this time they're all words. This time these are all words. We so that gives you an advantage right because yeah. if you know the definition of a couple of them, even if you don't know the definition of the one you're being asked about, you can, by process of elimination, go, oh, well. The, yeah. I know We've what. got people out there that probably get your Google ready. Nope. Just, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll have to even know. I can't, I can't get to mine. <laughs> you can't cheat. Don't cheat. Okay, don't cheat. We're gonna... Don't cheat. You're, that's supposed to be the fun of it. So this is, but this is a really hard quiz. If anybody knows any of these words, I'll be surprised. Is, are you supposed now, you to might get them right. so hard? You, no, no, no. You might get them right because you'll guess. Okay. But if anybody actually has heard of one of these words, I'll be shocked. No, that's not quite true. There's a couple. And plus, I and I said, we did, some of the words are from a show we did. So, we so if you're watching the show, you're going to yeah. go, oh, yeah, I remember this one. I th- and I think people will know those. I think a couple of people will remember this. I remember Petrichor. There you go. That I'll wasn't never the show, forget. Though. No. But... <laughs> that was a different show, but <laughs> that's not the one I it's stole It's among from. the words that I try to remember in case, just yeah. in case. So, it's, so the show's real straightforward. We're just going to put up a, a phrase, and it's going to have a blank in it, and you just fill in the blank. Okay. All you right? can do this. And so I'm, I'll give you an example. Okay. Does that make sense? Here's an example. This is actually from that show in 2018. E, I, e as an example. Oh, I see. Okay. So you just, which word goes in the blank? If a bird or anything else blanks, then it flies away. Oh. If it obviates, if it allotrates, or if it bassiates. Which one of those? Which one? <laughs> which, which one, Ida? Well, isn't uh, everyone it obvious? knows this one because we did it on the show. We gave the answer on the right. show two years ago, and so you just remember it from that. What's the answer? It abvolates. Of course, of course, everyone knows it abvolates. Abvolate means to fly away. The bird approached the feeder, grew suspicious, and abvolated. You know, like abduct, abduct. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I don't know about that, but okay, well, we'll... I'll take your word for okay. it. Okay. All right. So that's how that's how the game's oh. going to go. Except for it's not that easy. Because what? Because they're not words that we did two years ago. They're new words. You really think I would remember that word from <laughs> two years right. ago? Well, be- because probably I in your subconscious. Maybe in my subconscious. It's the other words here are not words though, but in ours, in the, in the rest of them, there they're going to be words. Okay? okay. So here it is. Mm-hmm. When a person mixes two languages together in a sentence, yes, it is called blank. Fanfarinade. Armistra or Oxter? Hmm. Something weird, something weird is going on there because I'm 90% sure it's none of those. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin, I think you're supposed to give us the word. I need to look up my. <laughs> okay. Well, I think. <laughs> that, that is definitely not correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then it's none of those words. Because <laughs> fanfarinade is like something like lemonade. It's something aid you, something you drink, right? Yeah. So it would be something that's a, like a beautiful mixed drink. Okay, let, let me fix this question. I don't know how this happened. Armostra, that wasn't she, wasn't let, she on uh, that Donald Trump show? <laughs> is that what? <laughs> and this that, is actually the next question. <laughs> this, this, 
when a person mixes two languages. So I don't know how my my slide got mixed up, but let me. Uh, um, uh, an another word for an armpit what? is oh a fanfarinate is blank. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, Kathy says she thinks she's alone. There's there's several people out there, Kathy. It's just kind of quiet tonight. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, another word for for an armpit. You, you just put armpit. Oh, well, I can fix that. <laughs> another word for armpit. Okay, it's it is. Is it, is it a is it a fanfarinate, an armistra, or an oxter? It's an oxter. An oxter. Yeah. There's no <laughs> doubt in my to. mind. It's oxter. Final answer for me. You're you're uh, you're on that one. <laughs> Armpit. Um, that's <gasps> correct. That's correct. How did I get that it right? It is it is oxter. I don't um, even know. That's not the right question, but that is the right answer. A person <laughs> armpit. When he raised his hand, there was a hole in his shirt exposing his oxter. Oh yeah. Sounds sort of formal, doesn't it? Nathan knew, and <laughs> and Anna Marie's throwing in medical terms. She thinks it's the axilla. It's D. She made she she added a, another word. Yeah, she has another name for it. <laughs> Kristen says C. So yeah. Okay. Got people out now there this is it. now this is the okay, two language now we have question. The fan okay. Okay. When a person mixes two languages together in a sentence, oh my word! It is called blank. Is it called fanfarinade when you mix two? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. We oui, I do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> when you throw in when you throw in some idiom or something like yeah, that. I should have said quad, but yeah, I yeah. may later. Yeah. Okay. I'm say come So so uh is it is it called fanfarinade? Is it called macaroon macaronic <laughs> macaronic? Like Yankee Doodle. Or is it called cabotage? It's fanfarinade. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> I don't know. We've got smart people out there. They're going to tell us what it is, but I think it's. I love that word, fanfarinade. Mm -hmm. It has to be something. Isn't that a good word? It's a good word. Fanfarinade. I want to. I hope that that's what you it want is. it to be. I, so I can use that in a sentence sometime. Uh, uh, I do see two C's. Oh no, this those, is one. Those are from one. Those are from one. Mm -hmm. So uh, here is your uh, answer. Okay. Uh, a lot of people going a. with fanfarinade. Yeah. Um. But the answer is oh, no. not fanfare. It's macaronic. The answer is something weird came up on the screen, by the way. Okay. <laughs> uh, Earlier, it was doing voice to text. It's a, I don't know what's going on tonight. It's a little it's, just one of those nights. Okay, macaronic language okay. containing words or inflections from one language introduced in the context of another. See, okay, macaronic. macaronic. Okay, so so now now you've got a word to use. It's sort yeah. of like macaroon, macaronic. <laughs> okay, <laughs> macaronic. Got it. Uh oh. All right. If you use a lot of big words like those on tonight's show, how come you keep using the same word? Because <laughs> you know I want to use it. You might be accused if you use a lot of big words mm -hmm. like those on tonight's show. You might be accused of blank, fanfarinade. Is it fanfarinade? Is it godwatery? <laughs> Or is it palaver? Fanfarinade, gone watery, or palaver? Well. This, I mean, we need to know what we're doing, don't you think? Like, what, what is it that we're doing tonight? We, don't want, we want people, when they accuse us, we want them to accuse us with a big word. That's right. Well, that's, <laughs> see, but I had fanfarinade on the last one. Can I say fanfarinade for of everyone? Of course you could say fanfarinade. Well, mm hmm well, let's see. God water. <laughs> Hell of it. it must be fanfarinade. You think? Yeah. Please let it be fanfarinade. <laughs> Nathan says A. Oh, it's no. The answer is God, God watery. watery. Affected archaic language is God watery. She speaks in such verbal God watery, only a Shakespearean scholar could understand her. Um, so that's affected. Uh, Archaic language. 
Yeah. It's uh, actually uh, God watery is also a garden that has all sorts like a like an odd variety of plants in it. Like that wouldn't really go together. You mm-hmm. have like cactuses and ferns in the same uh, mm-hmm. garden. That would be called a God watery. I see. And so uh, anyway, uh, so it transcribes also to language when you're mm-hmm. using yeah. all this verbal stuff okay well nobody got that one nobody got it right no well you're not we supposed to get it right this C's. is this is the hard. this is this, the hard oh no he okay when a man again. cultivates and carefully trims his facial hair uh-huh. he is doing fanfarinade you keep baiting me with <laughs> or that poganotrophy or mysticacy <laughs> yes <laughs> Mustachacy. Oganotrophy. <laughs> or fanfarinade. I'm kind of like, I want to say fanfarinade, but you know, my, <laughs> my go to answer when I don't know is always B. So I'm going to say Poganotrophy. I thought your go to answer when you didn't know was fanfarinade. Yeah, I was just thinking, <laughs> <laughs> that's what's happening tonight, and I'm getting tired of myself saying it. So I'm giving you a break, and I'm saying Poganotrophy. Pogo. Okay. From from the Latin one, <laughs> ha, hagana trophy. Trophy. What does trophy mean? Like atrophy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to like relaxation. Okay. Well, let's okay. let's uh let's. So it's probably wrong. Let's poke it up. Number four. The yeah. answer is <gasps> pugnograph. The <laughs> pugnatrophy. Okay. The act of cultivating or growing and grooming a mustache, beard, sideburns, or other facial hair. That's an important one to remember these days because a lot of men, especially since COVID, decided to grow out their facial hair. And, you know. It was happening before COVID to the cool it? kids. Yeah. To the cool kids? Yeah. Well, then. Definitely the cool kids. Oh, yeah, is so, that how you say it? I don't know. Pop. Hoganotrophy, I believe is how you say it, but I'm not positive. Okay. Mm. Okay, next one. All right. Number five. If something oh, is no. pleasing to the palate, <laughs> um, you might call it fanfarinade. <laughs> I should have known when I saw it the second time, it wasn't a mistake. <laughs> but okay. Or licorice. Huh. Or sesquiplicate. Sesquipolate. No. Sesquiplicate. Yeah. If something is pleasing to the palate, you might call it. Oh, it's so yummy. Which one of those? It's so it's yummy. It's It's <laughs> sesquiplicate. It's or fan. No, it's fanfarinade. Or it's is it licorice? Licorice. licorice. You know, because you lick your lips. Yeah. Oh, so licorice. Oh. That tastes so good. It's so licorice. <laughs> But it's a squiplicate. <laughs> like it's exquisite. It's a squiplicate. Nathan uh. says fanfarinate. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so, you know, who knows? But I think we're going to, this another one we're going to remember forever. Okay, here's what it is. If it's okay. pleasing to the palate, it's licorice. Oh. The act, oops, that's not the act of cultivating or growing or grooming a mustache. <laughs> He's going to get fired from this job. <laughs> it, it, it just means pleasing. It, it's where the word, it's where luscious, it's also like luscious and lick your lips. Yeah, go all those uh, have the same, have the same background. Okay. okay. Dave and Nathan both said A. So all right. We're, here's, we're, we're, here's the next one. Get I get off that we're last We're going to get this one. Okay. Oh, you, oh. When you mail something using a UPS store, they will put it in a box and tape it up for you. Uh-huh. This is called. Emboxing, <laughs> or is it called fanfarinade, <laughs> or is it called anchor fret? Oh my! When they put it in the box and tape it up for you, it's. Oh. <laughs> By the way, sesquipolicate. Yeah. Uh, it's it that means to uh, deal with. Um, uh, Square roots. (laughs) 
Ses- <laughs> it's nothing it's a to math do with term. good food. Sesquiplicate. I should have known. It's like multiply, multiplicate. <laughs> sesquiplicate. We're going to have easier words next time. <laughs> <laughs> um, canker fret sounds like, oh, I'm so worried I'm going to get a canker sore. <laughs> But I'm fretting about it. I I don't. But although David say and see and Nathan say and see, anchor fret. I think it's inboxing. See now, nobody even is guessing what the words are. They're just sort of trying to get inside my psychology. Like right. what would Cal try to fool us with? Right. Which we know that's what you're doing. So it seems the simple thing is like and they inbox it for you. All right. Well, first of all, I'll let you know that C. Um, is exactly what you were saying. Canker fret is when you have a sore. Canker fret is like when your car has rust uh-huh. on it. That's canker, like a, like a, the rust lumps on your yes. car. Canker fret. You Makes could also have it in your, in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's not C. <laughs> no, it's inboxing. It's, I got it. <laughs> that was some, such a simple one. To be I- close <laughs> in or as if in a box. <laughs> I almost unboxing. said fanfarinade because and, you, <laughs> unboxing sounded too easy. But you always call it putting it in a box. That's And you could just say, would you unbox this for me? <laughs> and watch their eyes roll and see what happens next. <laughs> next time, let's all go to let's UPS do. next time and use the word unboxing. Okay. And see if we could get it to catch on. Yeah. Like use it five or six times. And could you please seal it really well? Because if it gets wet, then I'd have a canker fret. <laughs> And, and turn around to the person behind you and say, they're taking a long time to unbox. <laughs> and just see if you can spread the word so that we can get the whole world to start to, mm-hmm. to use this. That's what we're going to do. It's a good word. You it is what, a good word. Why always say, put it in a box and tape it up? <laughs> just say, unbox it. We just say, would you? We, we, <laughs> we have shortened the word. Because we just say, would you box this? Not unbox. Oh, is that what we say? I think so. Anyway, that's what. I'm Moving right along. Yes, let's go. Oh no. <laughs> uh, if the forest ground is covered with a blank of acorns, squirrels will scurry to gather all the available food. If the forest ground is covered with a fanfarinade of acorns, <laughs> <laughs> with a mast of acorns, or a archimage, archimage. Uh, sorry, archimage, an archimage. Um. Hmm. Which do you think it is? Fanfarinade, <laughs> mast, or archimage? Um, <laughs> I think, okay, go back to what Kathy says. No, I asked him to put some more tape on it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, let's see. One of these times it's going to have to be fanfarinade. I know that. <laughs> but I think it's a mast of acorns. A mast of a mast of acorns. Yes, that's what I think it is. When the forest ground is covered with a mast of acorns. Doesn't that sound poetic? It does. It's so wrong. So does fanfarinade, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I love that word, fanfarinade. I can't wait to see what Archimage really... is a fun word. It is Which is not the word. right word in this case. No. Archimage means the chief magician. The archimage. The art of images. No, mage uh, is a magician. Oh. A mage. A mage. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, so um, I didn't say so C. So it's down to either A or B. <laughs> <laughs> Please let it be B. Oh, it is. A and it's B. The fruit of forest trees and shrubs, such as acorns and other nuts. You know how you learn these mast. words. You have to read. Mm. I think, you know, my kids. Or you would... could just watch our show. <laughs> That's <laughs> Forget about reading. Just watch the show. <laughs> How often do you talk about a mast of acorns? But you could. Yeah, we could. Okay. It's it's a covering on the forest floor that that contains food. Mm-hmm. Mast. Somehow I knew that from something. I mast read. comes like, from the, the old word for food. Like mast to eat, masticate. Exactly. There you go. That's the old word for food. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. How many questions are there? <laughs> uh, well, we're done with the we're done with the new ones. Now it's all just the old ones. So oh. you're just you're going to remember all of these. Yeah. Um, to blank is to speak like a baby. To blank is to speak like a baby. Uh-huh. Semitate, transnate, or lallate. 
I bet. I bet you remember. I remember saying "la late" before, and it was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I still think "la late" makes sense because <laughs> it's like lullaby, but that's, that's lullaby. I'm pretty sure has a U in it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it's the same thing. Whether it has a U or an A, they all sound the same. Really? It doesn't matter how things are spelled. It's not like that has anything to do with the root word. <laughs> I think it's cementate. Cementate. To to speak like a baby. Let's hear you. Let's hear you speak like a baby. How does one speak like a baby? Fine. We don't got no nanos. <laughs> no <laughs> nanos. Is that is that a word in your house? Nanos. Nanas. Nanas. Yeah. All right. The answer is lally. You remembered properly oh, the word, but you lally. forgot the. Uh, yeah. Uh, to lally <laughs> is to speak like I. I speak like I got baby. <laughs> <laughs> and we said Nathan likes to talk like a baby. He does. They, no, David and Nathan have their little. Uh, okay, here's one. I'll bet you'll remember this one from the old show. To blank someone is to fail to recognize them. To unken, to surfle, or to caperate. To unken, to surfle, or to caperate. Remember this one? Oh, sure. You're supposed to know all these. We taught everyone these answers. Do you remember? Number nine. Um, Do you remember? I yeah. I think you're I thought this was one of the ones you'd remember. Well, unkens sort of that's what I'm being drawn to. Like to feel to wreck un unken. Unken. I say unken. Maybe the K is Surfle. silent. Unen. <laughs> Surfle? Surfle. It's either unken or caparate. Uh-huh. So I'm going to say, what is it? Um, it's unken. Yeah, it's unken. The kin. Yeah, I get it. Un. Unken. <laughs> you don't recognize your own kin. <laughs> is that what it is? That's what it comes from. <laughs> Henry's joining us tonight. Hi, Henry. <laughs> Hello, nice to Henry. see you. <laughs> We're doing unbelievably hard work. <laughs> really, we are, and they're... Terribly hard. Okay. In the morning, when you stretch and yawn, you oh, I remember. Do this you one. genticulate? Do you pendiculate? Or you, <laughs> do you lavafactate? Lavafactate. Well, I think it's genticulate. <laughs> you do? Yes. Do you have memory? If you feel like you memorized that, have you used it in a sentence in the last two years? Well, you know, like when you genuflect. Yes. <laughs> I'm interested in where this is going because the thing in the morning when you stretch and yawn. So do you stretch and yawn when you genuine flex? <laughs> I don't genuine flex, but uh, but I've seen people do it and they look bored. No. <laughs> huh? Okay, a commentary on genuflectors <laughs> throughout the world. It's not put you. Know, it's just the ones I know. I just want to remind you that the hosts of this show do not re necessarily represent the views we of do uniquely not. the same. <laughs> they, their uh, own representation of their own views, not ours. <laughs> and it can't be pandiculate. Because pandic... It's genticulate. <laughs> Help me, guys. Do you, Do you guys remember? remember this one? Number 10. Somebody oh. says A. Yep, we, that's what we've got, A. The answer is oh, pandiculate. pandiculate. How can it be remember pandiculate? This. For two years from now, when I do the show, please remember this. I'm, when we come back and do this in two years, the word pandiculate is on from now, I'm not going to remember this, but okay. Pandiculate. No. Ooh, come on, we all do it every morning. I don't yawn and stretch in the morning. I'm very <laughs> raring to go. You don't yawn in the morning? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Pandiculate. We I don't know if we're done or not. We'll, oh. we'll just keep going. Oh, no. There's oh, another. no. There's another one. Here we go. Which okay. word goes in the blank? To blank oh. is to bruise something or to knock or hit it hard. Uh -huh. To lucubrate, <laughs> to obligure, or to diculate. <laughs> Which one? It was on the show. All you have to do is just give the answer. That and we... I was sitting right next to you when you when we did. You were right there. Yeah, and, and I, I and I, just like on this show. And I said I'll never. I highlighted one of the words, uh -huh. and we talked about it, and we told jokes about it. Mm -hmm. 
Um, <laughs> um, By the way, no one liked that show two years ago. <laughs> I'm so surprised. It's one of our lowest rated shows. That's going to be like this one. And we chose to do this again because we thought maybe you just didn't understand. Well, you'd like it better now this... that you knew the answers. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy says, go to the ER. If you have those things happen to you, she's right. To go to the R is to bruise something or to knock or hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, if you get bruised or you've been it's knocked or hit one. hard, go to the ER. Yeah, I'm with you. It's, 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 oh my gosh. I'm going to put you out of your misery. So yes, give an answer. Do. Oh, it's Luke. Great. We're echoing. Uh oh. That's not good. Hmm. How they says T to dictate. All right. Well, here's the answer. It is to do. Way to go, Kathy. You got she, it right. She's you, pulling one up for the team. Tediculate. Thank you. Now remember that next time. Tediculate. It's not <laughs> obligure or lucubrate. Why isn't it lucubrate? <laughs> what is lucubrate? You don't know. Is it a real word? Those were words I made up oh, years ago. Yes, Only see, one of these is a real word. I forgot. <laughs> oh, oh, thank goodness. It's so over. So glad it's over. <laughs> Oh, you guys have been so good to stick with us. So are, Those are, of you who did stick with us, thank you. Are you going to remember sesqui sesquiplicate? Yeah. No. Do you know what sesquiplicate means? No. Was, it's a math term. Yeah. It, it's like square roots. It means to do square roots, yeah. Sesquipul sesquiplicate. I'm old. I can't remember things. I've <laughs> Don't do this to me. Hmm. Huh. Henry's got me thinking. I'm trying to figure out why we'd be echoing. Mm -hmm. I might put my headphones on just to see if I can hear it. I'm everything I have is turned off. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, thanks, Henry. Though we'll look into it. Henry, you might just try to like refresh your screen, and you might have it open twice. Hmm. That's all I could think. Um, but it could be on our side, and if so, we're sorry about that. So, Ida, are you ready for your saying of the week? I am, oh, I am so ready. You're so ready to be on. <laughs> did, you, did you use big words? I didn't use big words. Oh, good for you. So, okay. So this saying of the week, because June 15th is National Nature Photography Day. And we have a person, Andrea Duncan, who has allowed us to use her photographs that she takes that are beautiful. <laughs> and she allows us to use those just for, just for nothing, just for nothing in return, just to use those photographs. So this reminded me of Andrea. And that's why I'm going to do this one today. Uh, every now and then, a person with no agenda, no ulterior motive, and no self-interest will take pleasure in helping you to succeed, grow, and live your purpose. This person will operate in love, will seek no praise, and will want nothing in return. This person is a gift, and that's how I feel about Andrea. She's been a true gift to us. So thank hmm. you so much. It is. It, it's great to be that person. That's something to really it aspire is. to. I agree. I agree. So. Just, just love for love's sake, friend for friend's sake. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's hard to do. You know, you're in the, your own rat race, and you forget that other people are in their rat race, and mm -hmm. everybody could use a friend and a yeah, just, just somebody who really cares. Pay it forward. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for that one, Ida. You're welcome. Okay. Um. Now we're gonna move on to the joke of the day next. Oh. And I would like everyone to take a new attitude toward the joke today. Okay. I'm excited for the Let's joke just today. laugh and just <laughs> enjoy it. And whether it's funny or not so funny, <laughs> let's just really listen and allow our hearts to just well up with laughter regardless of the depth. <laughs> it must of the be a bad one, but okay. <laughs> We're going to love it, Cal. You are going to love it. We are going to love it. Oh, look at it. And so it's our friend Kelly Krumenacker. Yeah, I don't, like I don't think Kelly has ever done a joke of the week, so she it's won't be able to say that well, anymore. Her birth, it was her birthday last week. We didn't have a show last week, so we missed her birthday. So I, you know, here she is doing joke of the week. What a great gal! Yeah. So, uh, so Kelly is a uh, works in a pharmacy. Okay. And uh, so that will help you with the. Uh, so she said at the pharmacy we had a customer desperately searching for a laxative. Oh. Uh, for <laughs> fortunately. <laughs> We had one box of double strength Miralax left. I guess that's a fortunate thing. I don't 
<laughs> they were so relieved. <laughs> We've stooped to constipation jokes. <laughs> if you can't be funny, tell like bathroom humor. That's right. Go for it. Just <laughs> head right to bathroom humor. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Yes, thank you. That was funny. Because, you know, it is funny. And it's not funny to be in that situation. I don't want to say anymore. To be re- to be so relieved? <laughs> it's great. I'm sure they were thrilled relieved. to be so relieved. Yeah. That's the whole idea of the joke. Right. I get it. <laughs> it was a good outcome. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Calvin, I don't know about you. But okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Linda says Kelly has a new job, so maybe she's oh, she's not a pharmacist. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. So, oh, why did I do a pharmacist <laughs> joke? That's we're, why she we're quit. We're all asking ourselves that question. <laughs> that's the reason why she quit because they ran out of Miralac. That's what it is. <laughs> oh my. Okay. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Now, now that Linda mentions it, yeah, Kelly mm-hmm. has moved on. So that's her. That'll be our last pharmacy joke. We won't have to do any more bathroom. <laughs> I bet we have more bathroom jokes before it's over. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll do that. Was number one. Maybe we'll do number two. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I knew he could. I knew he couldn't hold back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna be able to go on if we keep going. take much to entertain him but okay okay well do you have anything to say is there anything that you would like to throw into this now is the time yes now is for the time. anything any shout outs we, that you would like got to a couple things you know there or... we were planning on having joe delegate not just show. not just ida ida too right but but you're I'm welcome to put yours you yeah go ahead and type your uh, um yeah so we were going to have Joe Delagrave on the show last and we, week. And yeah. we, we still are planning on it, but we had things come up um, that prevented us from doing that. But uh, June 10th, the 21st. So he's at training camp in Birmingham, Alabama. So we, we will have to find a time in between training camps and then final camp on August 7th. He has his final training camp and then they go to Tokyo uh, for the opening ceremony on the 24th. Well, this is June 10th. Right. So right. he's there now. He's there. He's in Birmingham, Alabama now for it. For the, uh, this training camp, and uh, and then August twenty fifth to twenty ninth is the competition. So we're gonna we're gonna fit him in between that, hopefully, and get him here. It's uh, it's really exciting. I'm excited for him, and and uh, lo- lots of effort goes into. We want to really cheer him on. I I actually like considered going to Tokyo because how many times you can actually know somebody on that's playing for real? I knew. Doug Collins, when he played basketball. That's, wow, that's pretty good, too. That's one person I know. And then Joe. Anyway, so he's I'm going to put some news up, too. Okay, we're. please do. And then we've got some birthdays. We missed some last week, so if um, you haven't seen any more things come up. But, uh, Aaron Fiscus was on the second, Gerald Brand on the third, Thea Turner on the seventh, and Kelly Krumenacker on the seventh. On today is Jim Rousey's birthday. On the 12th is Chuck and Zeta. I don't know if it's Chuck or Zeta's birthday, but Chuck Zeta Turner. Uh, Laura Perini on the 12th. Zach Holler on the 14th. And Katie Kaufman on the 16th. So happy birthday to all of you. Thank you for this. You're welcome. What else? Oh, some fun holidays. It's National Accordion Awareness Month. Do you know anybody plays the accordion? (laughs) My sister did. So it's a joke at our house. She hated the accordion, but she had to play it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The squeeze box. The squeeze. Oh, yeah. June 9th, Donald Duck Day. Yeah. Donald Duck Day. That's a big deal. I think it's Can you talk like Donald Duck? I can't believe you bait me for these things. I'm just wondering if you can. (laughs) (laughs) That's not very good. Joel can talk. My husband can talk like Donald Duck. Let's let's hear Joel. Go ahead, do it. Do it, Joel. Talk talk to somebody like Donald Duck. The kids used to always ask him to do it when they were little, and he would he would. Linda's dad talked like Donald Duck. Really? Uh huh. And uh, I can't. I've tried. <laughs> well, hmm. End of school year. Six days left for my kids. My boys graduated. They sure did. Last uh, Tuesday. Just day before yesterday. Mm-hmm. 
in a dr- in a downpour and lightning and in between and in between they graduated there was a lightning strike here and then they read their names and then there was a lightning strike <laughs> over there but bless their hearts yeah they're high school graduates Kristen says her dad can talk like donald duck yeah yeah so you know, a lot of people have that gift so when the um when the boys names were announced they were announced in alphabetical order and so they said david clark and i yelled that's my son <laughs> And then, uh, and then they said Nathan Clark, and I said, "That's my son too." <laughs> I got it. All the people around me enjoyed that. Not just the people around you, because I heard you from. I was in the <laughs> way across the stadium, and I heard you. So it's nice to be proud of you. Everybody guys. was sort of shocked because people were being quiet. It was the Clarks, so it was still only the C's in the <laughs> alphabet. So people hadn't like started to go crazy. Like later in the alphabet, people got more and more loud <laughs> as they were going. On. I was the beginning of the and. And Anna Marie and Linda were sitting in a different place. They were also yelling. Uh-huh. So the whole stadium erupted when the boys. Congratulations. I had this joke that I wanted to do, but I didn't. But then like when a name later in the alphabet came up, I was going to yell. That's also my son. See if you could figure that one out. But I decided not to do that joke. <laughs> I just thought it'd be funny. Probably not an opportune time <laughs> to do something like that. Linda, Linda was present. I didn't want to embarrass her. <laughs> <laughs> well, and they've graduated with honors. You know, you've got a lot to be proud of. You've got oh, wonderful boy. children who, who have all... It turns out that I have the lowest GPA in my family. <laughs> I am the dumb one around here. Uh-huh. They all know it. They're all nice to me, though. They pat me on the head. <laughs> like, when I give them, when I say things that I have ideas or whatever, they're like, okay, daddy, that's a good idea. <laughs> and then they go off and they figure out, like, the smart idea. I'm trying to think of something. Because you know it's true. You really are. There's no debating it. Every, well, GPA, Everybody has a, a number isn't always the measure. That's the why I always. Someone's intelligent. Exactly. That's what everyone with low GPAs always say. How can you tell that I was a low GPA in my family? Oh. My teachers used to say, I had an older sister and a younger brother, and they would say, you, you have something to live up to, and your brother has something to live down. Well, that was, that was nice. Thanks for, thanks for sharing that family loveliness. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any other dirt? I'll do anything for a your... laugh. <laughs> no, I'm not telling you any family dirt. Oh, my. Okay. I, I got nothing. We're on Thursday night. That's sort of a big thing that we should mention. Yeah. So we have noticed that people are more available on Thursday night. Glad to see like Henry made the switch. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty big deal because sometimes we leave people behind when we switch nights. Right. But we definitely noticed that there were more, there were a lot of people who couldn't make it on Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. And the show's actually harder for us to produce on Tuesdays because we don't have as much lead time to think through the ideas through the week. So it's much easier on Thursday. So, um, so we've shifted back to Thursday. Did we start on Thursday or did we start on Wednesday? We started on Thursday. And then we shifted to Wednesday? Yes. And then we shifted to Tuesday. <laughs> now we're back to Thursday. So here we it are. It feels right. It feels like so, home. Yeah. So. so Thursday night with Utes. Yeah. That's what we used to call it. Utes because uniquely the same. U-T-S. Right. And we thought Utes was sort of a cool thing. It's pronounced like Y-O-O-T-S. So Utes. Yeah, the only reason why that's true, though, is because there's that movie where What's his name? I want to call him Vinny. Pesci. Joe, Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. Uh, the judge says to him, he, he says some, something about these two Utes. And the judge goes, what did you say? He says, Utes. Utes. <laughs> so we're Utes. So we're Utes. Yeah. And they mean, and, he, and then he says, Utes. Youths. So we're youths, U T S. Youths. All of us are. That's why we say third. We never explain that. We just say it, and everybody's like, "What? Do, what did they say?" Yeah, we should do better. It's one that. of those trivia questions we could ask. <gasps> On every stupid. show, we say, <laughs> "It's Wednesday night with youths." What does youths mean? <laughs> Petrichor and pandiculate. <laughs> I'm ready. And youths. So, so we're ready now. The show is going to be better than it has ever been. Now that it's on Thursday. That's right. 
So just improvement after improvement. Well, it, it only gets better when we have all of you here with us. That's what makes it better. So Nathan's, thanks for being here. Nathan's making the comment that the weather made the graduation shorter. They cut out the principal and the superintendent's uh, speech. <laughs> and it's, you know, no offense to them, but no, it was so much but, better without them. Right. You just heard the two kids. There were two kids, the president of the class and the valedictorian. And they said, you know, they're little niceties. And uh, it was really a nice graduation ceremony. Yeah. It didn't yeah. feel too long. It was like really nice. Mm -hmm. um, when I'm superintendent of schools, I'm going to just get up and say, you know, you, I'm, I just want to say I'm very proud of this class. And maybe I'd give a couple of statistics and say I'm not going to give a long speech. The only thing that w w that was a, like a little, um, see, a little sad is the first young man that spoke. He was the president of the class. He said they were, they were going to do a drinking game to, <laughs> to take a shot every time principal or whoever talked about being an alumni of gateway high school yeah because so he went care. to gateway so the drinking game was out <laughs> no, oh yeah no drinking game oh so that was sad it was sad because i was i had my bottle ready. i see you were ready <laughs> you were buying into that <laughs> senior in high school's drinking game yes i understand no okay all right well Henry says we're not echoing anymore so that's good we're not <laughs> Strange, strange. It is strange. But I, is not, that I don't is know what happened there. Okay. I didn't change anything, but now that we've come to the end of the show, it's all working. Should we start again? <laughs> Question <laughs> one. <No. laughs> Isn't anybody going to ask what fanfarinade means? I want to know what fanfarinade <laughs> means. I was going to ask you after the show because I, I still want to know. Is what? it really a word or is it, it something you made up? No, I didn't make up any words. You the, did make up words. No, the from la the last show. Right. That this was a this was a this was a new show. Okay. If you Google fanfarinade, it says arrogant or boastful talk. Oh, that makes sense. Fanfarinade. <laughs> I'm glad you came tonight. Me too. Uh, hope you'll come back next Thursday. We'll be here. Um. Yeah. And life will be good. But till, between now and then, we're still here. Right. We've been threatening to do an unshow. So one of these days, now that we're on Thursday, we'll be able to do an unshow like right. on Tuesday. That'd be good. And uh, so, yeah. Anyway, thanks for coming by. It's always nice to see you. We enjoy doing the show with you. And um, we're going to see you next week. We always like to end the show um, by saying that I am uniquely the same. You are uniquely the same. Together, we can change the world. Absolutely. We'll see you next week. If only I could find a little video that I'm supposed to start now. You're going to find it. I have faith in you. <laughs> there we go.